Joe, our second home wins calendar year feels like a big win. Yeah, it was a long time in between games and, um, you know, you obviously watch the other results come in when, you, when you're not playing and, and credit to Charlton. I think they've, they've had a massive turnaround under Dean, been on a good run of late and, and obviously snotted uh, Shrewsbury last time out. And for our lads to turn up and, and play as well as they did, but also limit them to, to very few opportunities, I, I think was... Uh, Really pleasing. I'm, I'm so uh, pleased for the boys. They've, they've worked hard in the in, in the space that we've we've had between games, and that showed today with a with a fantastic clean sheet and obviously three points. You say about limiting their opportunities. I'm struggling to remember James Bowles having such a quiet af afternoon, really. But I thought Lewis Gibson and Luke Hall in particular were outstanding today. Yeah, I mean it. It's always pleasing when the goalkeeper doesn't really have an awful lot to do, and you know Belly's been fantastic for us, but. The quiet he, he remains, you know. I hope he does nothing for the rest of his career at Bristol Rovers because it says we're, do, we're going well. Um, but you have to give enormous credit to, to the boys in front, and, and you think, you know, Hooley was back from international duty, was was faultless. Um, I thought Lewis Gordon, the other side, dealt with arguably um, the trickiest opponent probably in the division at the minute. Rak Raksui was terrorised their fullbacks. He absolutely uh, uh, snuffed them out today, and, and and that takes away a lot of um, you know Charlton's threat. You know the front. Two kind of wide players for them are, are an enormous part of why they've been successful under Dean, and um, you know for us today to shut them out was was exceptional. Um, but also you know Gibbo and 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 um, Beefy in the middle there, really pleased for them. Um, you know they, they looked uh, competent, composed, and and the good thing about the back four was if anybody did, you know miss your Jennifer, the other one was there to to clear it up, and it was a, a real you know team defensive team performance, um, which which kept Belly relatively quiet. Two go sorry, two games, three goals against Charlton for for John Marquis. But actually, what he brings when he comes on, holding the ball up, he must really sort of make, make you really happy. Where you can turn someone on the bench that can come on, show their experience, show a bit of nous, and yeah. kind of. I spoke to him and Aaron and, and Lofty before the game. Obviously, they were disappointed they didn't start because you know they've been playing well, but we felt strategically, you know, we had to we had to make it difficult for Charlton's wide men to get service, and that meant we had to sacrifice. Being as open and free flowing as, as, as what we want to be, um, but also we knew, you know, the state of play. You know, the, the hot day it was going to be a warmer day. Our pitch has been a little bit heavier than it normally is, and, and we felt we needed the impetus off the bench to, to come on and win the game. And you know, you, you, you're always um, mindful of leaving a player on the bench who's scored against the team in in, in the reverse fixture, and and obviously Johnny won us the game at the Valley, which was the first time in like 50-odd years or something for the gas. Um, so you tempted to start him, but but also I felt strategically, you know, to bring him off the bench, you know, and, and, and finish with him. And, and Aaron and Lofty was was our best uh, chance of winning the game. And, you know, sometimes it goes in your favour as a coach, sometimes it doesn't. But really, really pleased for John. Um, you know, stuck the penalty away with the plum. And, and, and again, you know, that's because his attitude was right in, in absorbing the disappointment of of not playing from the start and I thought it was a really good squad effort and I'm, I'm really pleased with the lads. All the decisions, as you said, turned out to be the, the correct ones. So the, the pitch looked a bit better, the crowd yeah. were excellent today, yeah. it just all fell a, a lot better. Sun was it? shining, yeah. yeah. Um, new stadium announcement yesterday, uh, etc. So yeah, well, look, look, Everton's looking up at the club and, and we've got to do the business on the pitch and, and the players, I think today, you know, to a man, I thought they were, they were exceptional. It's tough to, you know, single out individuals in such a good team performance. You know, I thought Grant Ward was excellent. You know, obviously the Marla wins the penalty. Nice to see Sam Finley back out and, and amongst it. And the, the job Josh Coburn did for the team, you know, he, he was up there on his own with two big boys in Hector and Innes. And, you know, you wouldn't want to be caught in a back alley with them too. You know, the two big bruisers and, and Josh kept plugging away manfully and softened them up for, you know, Ryan and, and John to come on and, and Aaron and, and, and take advantage of that. So, yeah. Um, really pleased with the lads. As I say, they've 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 uh, they've worked in enormously hard in, in the last few weeks between games, and we got our just rewards for that.